Hello and welcome to my most enjoyable books and authors of 2019. Before I tell you about the individual books that I have enjoyed in 2019, I, w I want to mention some of the authors whose books I have enjoyed which are not in the neat little list of individual books. I have obviously enjoyed more than the books that would fit in a top 10 list out of the 96 books I have read in 2019. So first, here are the authors I have also enjoyed in 2019. I read and enjoyed five novels by Anthony Trollope, six novels by Jean Plady, two novels by Paul Scott, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, East Lynne by Mrs. Henry Wood, Their Finest Hour by Sir Winston Churchill, Swan's Way by Marcel Proust, and The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. In some respects, the above list is my usual literary fare, so I've chosen some individual books that are a little bit different to what I usually read and surprised me in some way. I'm going to start with the autobiography of Dirk Bogard. I read the first three volumes of his four volume autobiography in October and December 2018 and the fourth volume called Backlot in January 2019. Dirk is not a great writer, but he is an entertaining and enjoyable one. I was surprised to find that this was not the usual celebrity autobiography, but was a thoughtful and interesting narrative of his childhood, acquaintances and career. I enjoyed all four volumes. In January and February, I read two collections of short stories by Raoul Dahl. The first was called Kiss Kiss, which consists of 11 stories, and they are all gems. Witty, surprising, macabre, and well written, and I found them very enjoyable. The second was called Over to You, and it contained 10 stories of flyers and flying. They were well written and interesting, but not as entertaining as Kiss Kiss, but I still enjoyed them. In February and March, I read Star Trek The Classic Episodes Book 1 by James Blish. This was an enjoyable collection of short stories which were a delight and enabled me to relive the interaction of the characters from the TV show. In March, I read The Remorseful Day by Colin Dexter, the last novel in the Inspector Morse series, but my first ever novel by this author. After finishing this novel, I enjoyed it so much that I immediately bought the entire set. And in July, I began to read from Volume 1, called Last Bus to Woodstock, and continued with Last Scene Wearing in September. I'm planning to read all the rest of the Inspector Morse series in 2020. In April, I read Tales of the Ring and Tales of the Camp by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, which consists of six excellent and enjoyable stories. In May, I read Tales of Pirates and Blue Water. For those who have only read the Sherlock Holmes stories, it will come as a surprise that Doyle also wrote about sport and pirates and other subjects. In June, I read The Five by Harry Rubenhold, a brilliant biography of the five victims of Jack the Ripper told with great insight, compassion and a truthful depiction of those women who, as Rubenhold convincingly proves in this superb and surprising book, they were never just prostitutes. I finished reading War Legum, the fourth book in the Poldark series by Winston Graham at the end of December 2018 and it wasn't until July 2019 that I read Book 5, The Black Moon, and in September, Book 6, The Four Swans, which is a highly accomplished novel and is excellent. Surprisingly, Graham's writing improves the more he writes this series. I want to continue this series in 2020. 
in August I read The Churchill Factor by Boris Johnson which was excellent, well written and hugely enjoyable. I am a big fan of both Churchill and our brilliant new Prime Minister. In September I read The Black Count by Tom Rees which was recommended to me by Alba of Seriella. It is a biography of Alexander Dumas' father who was a rival general to Napoleon Bonaparte. It is superb and very enjoyable. In November I found The Last Cavalier by Alexander Dumas in a charity shop and it was an absolute joy, hugely enjoyable, greater than The Count of Monte Cristo and The Three Musketeers, both of which I think are excellent. And finally, in December, I rounded off a hugely enjoyable reading year with The Masterpiece by Larry McMurtry, Lonesome Dove. Absolutely brilliant, and I loved every page of this superb novel. And now, here's a quick recap, and I'll be back soon with another BookTube video.